So this is just grown in coconut coir. So these ones are also Laoi. Move there, Laoi. If you look at that, that's just pure coconut coir. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. The first thing is, I'm going to remove this beautiful baby first up. So, this is just grown in coconut coir. So, these ones are also Laoi. Move there, Laoi. If you look at that, that's just pure coconut coir. I like growing the babies in coconut coir because I can control the growth or the speed of the growth. I'm just going to remove most of the coconut coir and that's enough. Also, it pays to check for mealybug. Growing succulents indoors, you will get a lot of insects. So that's, I think, a mealybug, see? So just check, make sure you can just remove it and she'll be fine. But the minute they're outside and they're given some of my seaweed conditioner the mealybug okay another one in the bottom see so i'm just going to remove this now there you go there's another little baby growing there but just check for mealybug and i think that one there or remnants of mealybug that's one so we i might still get another baby from that one so I'm gonna leave that there but this one this is now is that mealybug yep there's another mealybug there so that's why it's good to check it and just to make sure I will spray it with okay is that another mealybug no don't want to pull up pull out anything <laughs> as part of the leaf okay so that a beautiful plant that is a beautiful plant and that's only what i got okay so now i'll transplant that so for my pretty variegated bluebird i'm using a blue mug so this is just coffee mug and i'm gonna put my lace curtain so a piece of lace curtain and we're gonna put a bit of granite in the bottom here preferably the bigger size just sort of stop my curtain from moving around and also it creates air circulation because this mug doesn't have any legs or feet so if it's sitting on a flat surface then it can have a lot of moisture build up in the bottom of the mug or the pot now and that's what we want to avoid so we need to have some air circulation and then the granite between that just gives it like a buffer zone. So now I'm going to put some soil. This is my master succulent soil mix. And I'm just putting some in the mug. And we're going to take a little bluebird since it's still pretty small. We'll fill this up first. Okay, we remove the coir that's sort of big and whatever. And we go tap, 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 tap just to settle it down because once you water that, they're all just going to go down. And then we go there and fit that in there. And that's it. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Okay, is the light not doing it justice again? Okay. That light is really, really bad. Anyway, that's good enough. And then I'm going to put some dressings on top. Oh, so pretty. There you go. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty plant. 
You're such a pretty plant. There you go. So one bluebird put it up. Okay, so now we have frost today, this morning. It's 3 o'clock in the morning here. At, at 6 o'clock, it's supposed to be minus 4, minus 5. So tomorrow, I'm going to take this out. Not while there's frost. I mean, it doesn't really matter if there's frost. They can handle the frost. But that will... Oh, look at that. So pretty. Okay. So we'll put you there. And then this one, I'll deal with this one later on. I'll put that away somewhere. And so now... I have to remove this rolly here, this very pretty rolly in the middle here, which I hope doesn't die on me. It's a bit suspect that that one is going to die. So anyway, I should just leave her and take this whole pot out, but I'm going to take out the blue Paris and also a couple of these leaves that I've been growing in there as well. So there's another one here as well. Okay, so a couple of leaves that I'm just hiding and that's all rolly or that one is not. So I'll take that out. There you go. So it can just be all rollies or oh, that one's got roots as well. So this is actually master succulent soil mix ready. So maybe I need to thin them out or I'm just going to take off. Hang on, leave that one there. In, so I have to take off, actually I should really take off this big one. Because that's really thick. And then, are you going to be okay there? I'll take out that one too. There's no point crowding them out. And then those ones can go as well. Or else it won't be able to sustain itself and I can remove the cocoa peat on top and replace that with my dressing, my granite dressing. And that one can go too. Might as well take you out. Five of them will be good. Okay. The bottom, see look, that's all my master succulent soil mix. So now I'm going to tap, tap, tap. And put some granite around. And now this pot now, because it's quite high, it'll be able to sustain all these five babies, um, even when I'll be away for a few months. As long as they're outside, they're fine. But if I leave them inside, then someone needs to water them. Okay, and that's it.